over shoots the platform. And indeed he did. Although he was bringing as hard as he could, dear. I'm here to stop you. Who are you? Yay! Thanks for helping us, Duck. No problem, guys. Now let me go get Harvey. Oh dear. What was that fool, Duck? Thomas and Percy need your help on Mount Sodor. Let's go, then. Thanks for helping us, Harvey. Oh! Don't worry, James. I'll have you out of there. Who are you? Have you not heard of me? Oh, 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 oh. Thomas, why are you assaulting this poor old man? Toby, he's evil! For my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard! Thomas, are you alright? Mom, I don't want to go to school today. Is that a scratch on my paintwork? <laughs> The next day, the engines wait. What's going on? Oh my god, wait, what the hell? No! What? I have a plan. <laughs> um, hey, Timothy! I'm ready to get even or whatever you want to do. I knew you'd give up, Thomas. Wait a minute. You're not Thomas! Prepare to die, Timothy! Do you think oh no. You know I'll just teleport, right, Thomas? I have an idea. Wait a minute. What? Guys, couple up to him. And firmly Damn you, Thomas! Alright, Peter, get out of the way. Okay. That's not even possible! It doesn't matter, Timothy. From here to die. What makes you think I won't just teleport once you uncouple from me? Oh, wait. He's right. I have an idea, guys. I can take him to the second dimension. Die! No! Don't worry, James. I got you. No! Time for me to find a decent guy to start a family and to have to the second dimension. Where have you taken me? To the second dimension, where you can suffer here forever. I'll escape one day. Oh, but you don't understand. I'm going to burn the second dimension. And since you can't die, no matter where you go, and no matter where you teleport, you'll always be burning forever. Hey guys.
to say. Zuck didn't know the extent of my teleportation powers, which is ultimately what caused his demise. <laughs> you really think I'd be stupid enough to do that? Diesel 10 told me what you did last time. Our only option left is to attack him. Ah! Crap, I'm out of gold dust. Wait a minute, that means you took the gold dust from the lady. So you went all the way to Shining Time Station to kill her? Wait, Thomas, don't you see? If he's out of gold dust, we can take him to the second dimension. But where can we find a Great Western Engine? I know a Great Western Engine. Let me go find him. So, Percy. Hey, Harold, what's up? Percy, can you still know how to teleport to the second dimension? No, I don't know how. I lost that skill a long time ago. Well, crap, I have to alert the others about this. Well, I'll see you later, Percy. Bye, Harold. Hey, guys. So, P Percy can't teleport to the second dimension, so I have to go by foot. We don't have feet. You know what I meant, Smart Bunker. No need to be rude. Alright, guys, we're here. Thomas, it's been one week. Can I get Timothy out of my bunker? Okay, Percy. What is wrong with you? Putting an engine inside your bunker? What does not do that? That's just messed up, man. You're right, Timothy. No, Timothy, you're right. But you want to know what's worse? Killing people for, for, for no reason. Or that you're just angry at them. Killing people in general is bad. But what you've done is much worse, and you deserve to burn here. Isn't this place supposed to be on fire? Uh, it went out because yes. That makes no sense. See, Duck! How were you guys here? We traveled here on foot. We have Timothy. Oh, guys. If we can, if we can, if he can leave here on foot, but he can't teleport anymore. How do you know that? Plot convenience. Then that means he can easily get out of here by himself. Wait a minute. Maybe we could bring him back to life somehow and scrap him. But he'll just turn into a ghost again. We're going to have to seal him away. Instead of doing all that fancy bullcrap, why don't we just keep him inside, just trap him somewhere so that he can't leave, and since he can't teleport, he won't be able to get out, and he can't climb out because it will be too high. You know what, James? That's an actual good idea. You can't catch me. Well, I can't move on my own. Gordon, you're the fastest in here. Go get him. I got you. I've got you. You can't escape. I will kill you. I will send you all to hell. All right, guys, I got him. Good job. Then who's gonna trap him in the scrapyard? Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. <sighs> I have to do everything around here. Gordon, you didn't trap him, you just threw him in. Stay in here, you bastard. Get to Cellar and see who died. Um, guys, something's off. I feel like this is the part where the narrator should say, Thomas and his friends left. Hmm. Well, I don't know where he is. Let's just go back to Sodor.
Percy, were you coupled up to Gordon? No. Let's try that again. Percy, stay coupled up to Gordon. But Thomas, Gordon's ugly. Hey, don't insult me. Wait, you're still attached to us. Ow, 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 help. You know what, guys? Let, let, let's just go separately. I wonder where the narrator is. He should have told, said that we arrived here by now. Well, let's check the news to see what happened to everybody. Big news! Three people, two people have been killed today. The narrator of Thomas's stupid and crazy adventures. And a few weeks ago, and then. It's a sad moment for everyone. And there will have to be a new narrator chosen for this series. That means we have to find someone to be the new narrator. That will be the next episode. The new narrator. Good idea. Oh yeah, we need to fix you, duck. Wake up, lazy bones. Ugh. Do some hard work for a change. You scoundrel. Everything on Sodor is back to normal. Nothing unusual had been happening, except for the disappearance of Emily. Who are you? Oh, I'm the placeholder narrator. Dude, it's been a year. How have they not already found a new narrator? I don't know. They got off to? That's a story for another day. Now you're just ripping off Victor Tandley. Trucks and hauling freight down the